in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, change um, your icons, your home screen icons. As you can see, I've changed the, you know, uh, Angry Birds icon, I'm T Pain, or Fruit Ninja icon. So, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. So, in this example, I'm going to be changing the icon for MX Mayhem, as you can see right here. So, yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Cydia. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, let's Cydia load. And I'm sorry if the, you know, voice is appearing distorted somehow because there's something wrong with my microphone. Now what you have to do is um, you need to um, open, I mean, uh, you need to search for, search for Icon Maker. It's available for free from the Big Boss repo there. So yeah, search for Icon Maker. Icon Maker. There we go. Here's Icon Maker, and now mine says modify. Yours is going to say install. Click on it and click on install. So once you've installed it, what you need to do is you need to search for an icon. So I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to go. Google image search. As you can see, I just changed the Spider-Man app icon. So yeah, I'm gonna search for a biker image because the game is bike themed. Come on, bear with me for a second, guys. Yeah, there we go. Search for you know. Biker, whatever you want to search for, uh, search for it, and now let it load. Um, okay, now this search is over. Let's just use this one now. Um, Hold it, click and hold, click and hold, and save image should pop up, click on save image, and yeah, now the image is basically just saved to your camera roll, now what you're going to do is you're going to open up icon maker, okay, turn everything off, and now open that image up, okay, and you know this image is kind of distorted so enable to you know in order to cancel that distortion what we're gonna do is you're gonna open up photos <clears throat> and once you've opened up photos you're gonna select that photo and click on edit and crop and crop the parts that you don't want in the icon so I think you all already know about this, the crop thingy. Okay, now once I've done, once you have done the cropping, uh, click on save, it's saving the photo now. Exit it, get into Icon Maker once again, and import the picture. Um, now it's kind of less distorted. Okay, click on generate icon. It just, you know, uh, rounded the edges. What we need to do is you're going to click on apply overlay and click on apply shadow. And as you can see, it's apply, it applied a shadow and overlay. If you don't like the overlay, um, you can cancel the overlay. And it's good like this, but I want the overlay. I don't know why I am, you know just blabbering I cannot stop myself from talking and in a wrong way okay whatever click on save and click on open an iFile you need iFile for this by the way and I'm gonna provide the source for iFile in the description add the source install iFile come back now click on generate icon 
um, generate icon and wait for a year and a half and then when it you know pops up click on image viewer and click on done okay now press on edit and click on this and click this you know register looking icon here I don't know how much times I have to say you know now click on copy slash link click on done and um, now is the important part that if you want to change the icon of an original app like an app before which was you know already with you inside the iPod uh, for example App Store or Safari you're gonna go all the way back all the way back and scroll up to your find applications click on applications and here are these apps okay and if you want to change the icon of an app that you know you install like a game or something press on this home button right here this one not the original iPod home button this one and then click on applications and of course you cannot understand which application is which but if you click on one you can see that it gives the name right here so it's pretty handy at least in this situation um, now you need to find which uh, you know if you need to find the app um, which can be a real pain because you know you got more than a thousand apps okay this one is the app that I wanted Moto X Main 3 click on it scroll down till you find icon so find icon um, down 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 now a bit up Why can't I find an icon? Um, come on, I'm gonna fast forward this part out. Okay, now I found icon and icon 72 and whatever. These three are the icons here. This one, this one, and this one. So you're gonna click, click on edit and delete everything with the name of icon. I mean, starting with the name of icon. So icon, 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 icon. Delete, move four files to crash, finally. Got rid of them now. Press edit again and this file manager icon here and click on paste. Once you have pasted it, you're gonna press done and you're gonna basically just go back to your home screen. If you look at it, nothing has happened for now. But what you need to do is you need to respring it. So either you can go to winner board and then respring or if you have SB settings, you can just do respring it from here. I'm gonna end this recording for now, and I'm gonna continue in the next video. Now I have resprung, or oh, I suppose, or maybe respringed, whatever the plural is. You're gonna now scroll out to find a new icon. So yeah, this works for almost I think every application. And if you messed it up, you must have done something wrong. This process is really easy and it cannot be, you know, it cannot be messed up. If you have messed up, you're a special person. And I like you for that. You're special, you messed it up. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped you out. And I'm gonna, um, you know, end this recording. Peace out.